what is my next activity? It's called writing expressions. So we're asked to write an expression to complete each equation using the powers of 10 for each given number. We could write those equations like that. So for instance, if I look at number one, what do I see? I see 3000 equals to the product of two numbers. So I can choose anything I want. For instance, I will choose three times 1000. Of course, you can write many other things. Like for instance, you can write 30 times 100 or 300 times 10. Now, the most important thing is the total number of zeros should be three. And this is the thing that I am going to check. So three zeros. Now, let's continue. What do I have next? Now, if I ask you this, will it matter if I write three times 1,000 or 1,000 times three? Does the order, the order matter? Of course not, the order does not matter. Why? Because of the commutative or the commutative property of multiplication that we took before. You can solve the rest of the questions with the same exact strategy. For now, I'm going to head to the next activity. What is it called? It's called multiplying tens. What are we asked here? We want to think of how many times 10 needs to be multiplied by itself to equal each given number. So, what do I see in these four problems? After we finish our lesson, you will have the chance to answer this activity. You can use your knowledge of noticing patterns of zeros, like what we've explained before. This will make it easier for us to solve the problems. So think about it after our lesson. For now, let's enhance our skills of multiplication while looking at the area model. Do you remember what we've taken before in the area model? Let's check. Let's look over here. What do I have? These two models represent what? They represent the multiplication of 427 times 32. Which one do you think would be easier for us to use. We could, we could use 32, which is the smallest of the two factors, in two rows. So we will have two rows over here like that. Or we can use the what? We can use the 427. If I use the 427, what will I see? I will see three rows. Now, what do I do? In this model, we will have three rows over here. So here I said we'll have three rows, here I will have two rows and nothing will change. The product will be exactly the same either way. شوف الحلقه كامله من خلال تطبيق مدرستنا بلس. مدرستنا مستقبل يبدا الان.